Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Sail by Salute. So as you guys know, we are in the month of October and we are bringing the spooks to the channel with short horror games. And this is the next game on the list. Sail by Salute. Apparently it's a Bioshock inspired game. It's an underwater city. You're, you're awakened there. You don't know why you're there. You're trying to find a way out. Um, apparently the giants or something like that of the city destroyed everything and we just need to find a way out. So let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. Disaster has struck our beloved city. My sons and daughters have turned against me. Okay. Tap for the objectives, heal yourself at the healing station, and find a way out of the clinic. So I played the first Bioshock game. It was really good. And it's like a it's a, like a horror sci-fi thing. It's really good. Nitro hydrogen crossbow instructions. It is only allowed to be used to clear an escape route in case of an emergency from fallen rubble and furniture. Do not use it on humans or animals. When an object is being shot with a nitro hydrogen, hydrogen bolt, it will transform into an ice block after a short time. The ice can be destroyed easily with a blunt tool. Written and approved by Dr. Sammy, the researcher at Lamp Shade Clinic Laboratory. Okay. 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 Cool. To investigate the bar. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, there's blood. Let's go this way. Oh, the floor. That's not with the first floor. Oh. There's a dead person there. Can I jump? No, I cannot jump. Okay, oh, that's money. In case we want to buy more healing. Okay, so yeah, it's very Bioshock ish. I know that Bioshock could technically not be considered horror proper, but it had a lot of horror aesthetics, honestly. Rapture City, like, really transmits a certain level of horror. Can I crouch? Yes, I can. Okay, I don't need to do that right now, I guess. Complaints of the week, August 25, 1973. Residents demand the immediate deactivation of the builders at night. 20, compli 20 complaints came in this week that the builders were knocking on their door at night. Immediately resupply of toilet papers. 103 complaints about missing stolen toilet papers. Residents are not happy. Okay. So yeah, something weird was happening. Yes, money. Yeah, I can't I can't I can't take the syringe because that's just for healing. Apparently there's nothing else for me to do here. 
Can't open the doors. Weird and... Okay, I guess we have to go the other way. Thirteen July nineteen seventy four. The peaceful city turns into hell. There have been reports coming from Lampshade that the seemingly friendly giants, the builders, have started massacring the city's residents. People had already started evacuating the city using escape pods. Injured people, children, and women were evacuated first. A rescue mission was organized to help the rest of the residents who were still trapped under the ocean. The government of North Prey has announced that after the rescue mission is over, mines will be placed in the city to avoid the builders from escaping the city. Okay. Let's go to the other side. What's here? I'm assuming that those are the builders. Or he is a builder, I mean. Lampshade, the tr tranquil city below the ocean. This lion-hearted idea was made possible by Wallace Reef, who founded the Lampshade Project. The city got its weird name from a cylinder-shaped metal object that surrounded the city when it was above water in it and under construction. But the city left its lampshade when the buildings were sunk under the water. Lampshade is located under the North Pacific Ocean. It offers a large hotel and entertainment complex with a 24-7 clinic and insurance for unsatisfied visitors. Cool. Okay. Dead person. Some money. Documents. Some idiot rolled the damn combination of the safe to the hotel's reception wall. If I find out who, if I find out... Okay. They rolled a combination. Okay, I guess I need to go this way. Oh, there's a lot of money. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This right here is 10 out of 10 gameplay. The game lets me pick up money. 10 out of 10. Okay. You're kidding me? I mean, why would I need so much money in this game? Okay, let's keep going, I guess. No way, there's... I think there's nowhere else to go, right? Unlock the save. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. Let me check the document again. Oh, the save is right there. Okay, it's written on the reception hall. Or the reception wall, I should say.
Oh, I could go in here. I didn't know that. Could I go in here before? Weird. Okay, I already read this. Okay, it's three to the right. Can't read the rest though. Okay, what's over here? Okay, this is just another healing station. Elevator. Okay, it was three, three to the right, but I couldn't see the other one. Okay, this one doesn't open. So before I keep going, I, I want to look at it more carefully. Because uh, I can't move the bookshelf. I think that maybe that's a two to the it's three to the right, two to the left. But that that can't be the entire code, right? Can I see something from up here or, so, or? nah? Okay, one, two, three, one, two. No, obviously I need more than that. Oh, there we go. That's the whole point of the gun. Three, two, five. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get up. I could be wrong. Yep. You've obtained the Hotel Master Key, go back to Hotel Arcadia. Okay, that was not there before. Okay. Oh, I can break stuff. Duh. Okay, yeah. I need to use that more. Okay.
December 20, 1973. We decorated the office for the boss's birthday, hoping we could celebrate him. He deserved it. After all, he had done for the community. However, when he arrived, he was in a hurry. He rushed into his office and reappeared a few minutes later with a ton of sheets of paper in his hands. He delicately thanked the gift that we bought him and requested to immediately move one of the bookshelves in front of his office door. Our behavior by him on his birthday and a bit worrying. Okay. So, one of the bookshelves in front of his office door. Anyways, I'm gonna break them all. So, why not? Okay. Because there's nothing else here. To use the emergency elevator that leads to the escape pods, a code must be inserted first. There is a text... I'm reading! Okay. There is a text written by someone at the bottom... There is a text written by someone at the bottom of this document. Based on the handwriting, the person who wrote this must have been in a hurry. I had to split the code into numbers, then gave them to people who I know will handle this matter with caution. I gave two numbers to Mr. Solomons, who lives in room 103, he gave one number to the electrician who lives next to the agency. Wallace knows the rest of the numbers, he mentioned something about shooting gallery in the casino. Much, okay, in ascending order. Okay, no. This is where we're gonna get out. Yeah, there's new stuff appearing here and there. Henry, please fix the lights. Let the light switch behind the curtain. Love you, Laya. Yeah, it's pretty dark here. Okay, what am I missing? Is there supposed to be a number here, right? Oh, there we go. Eight. Okay, will I be able to remember that? Let me write that down. I don't trust myself to remember the numbers. So it's number eight. Okay. Who left their comfy lair was quickly cut off guard. Okay, this is supposed to be some type of puzzle, I guess. Lampshade is on its knees. Sure. Cool, that's very cool. Okay, he's dead. Modifying my tape writer to hide the numbers. Hope I succeeded. Okay, I think I get it. I need to write that down. Okay, no. Okay. 
I guess we need to write the stuff in red. Okay, B, C, Y. Oh, there's not enough space. Too little when a family of... Okay, it's supposed to say too little. I'm gonna assume that that's a number two, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna write the other thing. Too little when a family of four. I guess it's two and four. I guess. I'm not sure. This is pretty cool, but I'm not sure, honestly. Is it time to face it? Okay, anything else here? Because I, I think the other number is in the casino. Okay, so there's nothing here. Nope, 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 nope. Wow, he's so fast. Go, 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 go. What am I supposed to do? Can I attack it with it? With this? Well, it's not doing anything. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with you, dude? What am I supposed to do with him? Can I lose him? I don't know what to do because uh, I shot him and he didn't do anything. Oh, I can lose him. Okay. I get it. Okay, let's get a syringe. Oh my god. Seriously, dude? Oh, that's just money? Great. Okay. okay I'm a little bit nervous now. He's just patrolling now.
Okay, there was something weird with the audio there. No, no, no. He saw me? Don't freaking way. Can I read this? I don't know if I can read this. Score above 15 for a special price. Sure. He's coming, right? So you have like a limited amount of time? Okay, I'm nervous. Please don't come. Please don't appear here. Oh, I hate the whimsical music. Two more, two more. Here we go. Give me the stupid number. Give me the price. Okay. It's five. Five and nine. Okay, that was pretty cool. Now I need to bring him over here. Come on, I need you to come over here, dude. Exactly. Oh my god, I hate this. But this is the only way. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay, in ascending order, it would be two, four, five. Is that it?
Man, it's so dark. I wish I had a flashlight. Something bad's gonna happen. I mean, it's so obvious. Right? Can I interact with anything? Of course. As if the builder will let me leave. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, there he is. Made by bedtime stories. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So that's gonna be it for my playthrough of Sail by Salute. Hopefully nothing happened with the recording because I noticed that one of the numbers that I needed to press was number two. And I have that as a shortcut to pause the recording. Hopefully nothing happened. Um, so awesome game. I really, really like the Bioshock series. I only played the first one. I, I, I bought the collection, but I only played the first one. And I really like the fact that it's more sci-fi with a touch of horror, because at least when I played it, it felt like that it had a little bit of horror, right? Like a right amount of horror without it having to be an actual horror game, right? And I said, well, that, it was such a cool experience. I, I just didn't get motivated enough to explore the rest of the other games. Because I guess I would have liked it to be more horror oriented, more so than action sci-fi. This, this is pretty good. Um, this is the reason why I love PS1 graphics. Because you can just put that style of graphics into your game. You just focus on the gameplay and create a very good horror experience. And this was just really good. Okay, like really, really good. I like the pacing of it. I like that um, the... Uh, the constructor, the what, what, the builder, the builder, uh, chases you, but he was not overbearing, right? Because some some of these games I've noticed that I have a lot of trouble with them, because some of them are short, and I play them and I end up not using the recording, because I end up not being able to finish the game, okay? Because uh, some some form of enemy is following you, and you need to complete an entire section of the game without dying. And in my case, it would require so much practice that I'm just not able to do it. So when I see that you have like a threat that's chasing you and it's not overbearing, I can really appreciate that, you know? And this game had that and it had a lot of charm. I would play an entire game like this, full. I would play an entire game like this, man. It's really good. So that's gonna be it for my playthrough of Sail by Salute. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.